Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Wirecut Tutorials and Toolpath. This is our exercise number second part two where in the previous video we show you that how you can create that one profile uh, profile in a wireframe with the help of different command we draw this profile in a perfect and proper way where we define the point the profile for the external area as well as the internal area and in this video we are trying to show you that how you can create your program for the external portion as well as the internal portion in this video we are trying to teach you a lot of new things in the programming for the wire cut like as how what are the different operations for the lead in as well as the lead out and what we how we can use this so for create starting to create the tool path first thing that we have to click on a machine after selecting of the machine we have to select the wire cut module and you have to press default so once we press default here is in the wire wire cut module here is the wire cut tool paths are now we can get access so in a wire cut there are the two major operations that we have first is the contour and second is called four axis in a 90 percent work we are going to we can complete with the help of contour model tool path because most of the parts are we can make the 2d with the help of 2d profiles so that we can easily complete with the help of contour and when we need to make a four axis kind of component so that time we have to use a four axis so for creating the path with the help of contour we have to click on a contour once i just click on a contour i have to start to create the program with the help of point so this is my first point and after that here we have to define the chain so once i select the chain after that we have to press ok and once i press ok after that again i have to say ok again ok so as you can see here this is my proper tool path is created but that profile as per the reference of this profile this tool path height is much higher as compared to my raw material so for that one purpose i have to came in a parameter and in parameter we have to came in a tap taper and we have to define the total height of my raw material as well as the rapid height extra 5 to 10 mm from the raw material so as you can see here my raw material size is the 20 mm so for that one purpose i make the uv height 20 uv trim plane the 20 and just press ok now i would like to teach you a one important thing that is why this is called a uv and why this is called xy the bottom height and a bottom trim plane is called xy because when we talking about in the master cam or in a wire cut the bottom mode where the wire is going to be moving forward from this one position so that is the all the axis coordinate that calculated as respect to the x and y but when we are talking for the upper position or upper portion all these coordinates that is calculated with the reference of uv in the coordinate of u and v these are called incremental axis in x and y so that's why when we are talking about the upper portion that is called u and v or uv trim plane and uv height and that rapid height it means when my uh, pa upper portion upper nozzle is in upper position in any particular position so that will move and came to that one particular position and after that it is start to cut so now the next position just i just press ok so as you can see here this is my perfect and proper tool path i created successfully right at here after created creating of this tool path now we can move this tool path for the next step so for moving this tool path with the next step we have to came in a cut parameter in a cut parameter we have the different cutting methods we have the different perform rough cuts in a in a cut parameter we have to define that how you would like to create this part so for creating that part we have to make a one rough pass as well as one finish pass without the tab pass so we just add a one rough pass as well as one finish pass so as you can see here my two passes are successfully created and this is start from here and this end continuously the two number of passes for example now let me in last video we already discussed about each and every single of a parameter for the cutting parameter now let we have to came on a lead in and lead out in the lead in there are the three different methods are available the first is the line only the second is the line and arc and third is two line and arc now let we have to talk about one by one all these about all these for that one purpose i make 
only the one rough pass only and now we have to came in a lead in and lead out so in lead in in lead out the first option is line only when we are talking about the line only it's means to wire will came from the starting point in a line format and start to cut when we are selecting another option that is line and it means the wire will came in the form of line after that it convert as a arc and it will be move continuously here you can define the arc radius for example may i make the arc radius as a 1 mm so it is start to cut from the start to came in a line format and after that it convert in arc it is similar to the contour direct contour path when we are talking about the uh, mill for example the last one option the third option in a lead in that is two line and arc it means this is something like that one first one line will came like this after that the second line will be like this this is my second line and after that it's convert in arc that option we are using in a very less on specific for specific use only so most of the time we are using the line only and line and arc similarly in a uh, lead out there are the three option the first is called line only and the second is called arc only in arc only at the end of the exit of my pass it will be exit like that this is in arc only in that condition over part is going to be removed or trimmed extra the material as well as so we never or in a very less condition we use that condition most of the time you are using in a perfect and a proper format we are using the line only or arc and line it means it will exit in the first like as a arc and after the arc it will again going in a line format at the initial position so that's all about when we are talking about lead in and lead out and this is the similarly like as two line and arc it means arc and two line in lead in first start the line after that arc in lead in this option first start the two line after that arc and when we are talking about the exit it means it start to first the when it's going on exit so first the arc for after that the line is still similarly like this one first the arc after that the lines if you want to make the para make some changes in the parameter in a arc radius you can just click on here in the arc sweep it means for example i make the 45 mm so have a look so we can make the modification for the arc how would like to sweep so you can make the and choose the parameter as per your need and if you want to make some add on the value for the overlapping you can also make the overlapping for the lead in and lead out by clicking right at here so here are the some options in a lead in lead out there is a tab cut no drop out method for example i just turn off this so there will be no changes will going to be happen if we don't on this one also so there are the multiple options are available when we are talking about this it means set start position to thread point thread thread point it means starting will be start from thread points only auto position cut point it means once my pass completed it's automatically going on a cut point tab cut no drop out method it means when we are working on a tab cut it will going to be proper and smooth way and in rapid option there are the some options are available like as rapid from thread point it means we we have multiple passes so after completing of the one pass the next pass will going in a rapidly till the thread point similarly after completing of the one point to the it's going to the cut point it will going in a rapidly and rapid to start position at end of program it means once my program is going to be end from this one position to the start point it will going in a rapidly so if you want to make some format in a rapidly you can just click on and add on these parameter and similarly if you want to make add on some parameter in a lead in lead out for the tab you can click on here and add all these things so here is all parameter about lead in and lead out so i hope you guys get understand about that how we can use this parameter and perfect and proper way now i would like to show you the simulation of that one component that how it is going to be cut in outer direction so now as you can see here here is the pro simulation for the proper and a perfect way 
where you can understand about that how it is going to be performed so i hope you got guys get understand about that how we can create all these things and now similarly if you want to make the tool path for the internal area also so for that one purpose you can just click on a wire again contour click on this point start from this to this and just press ok so as you can see here this is a perfect and a proper way to create a tool path let's start with the help of a sweep area and after completing of this again it's going second time and here is the proper and a perfect format to create my component so i hope you guys get understand about that how you can create a tool path in a wire cut and what are the different lead in and lead out options are available in this one so thank you so much for watching this one video if you have any question and doubt feel free to ask that and comment section see you in the next video with lot of new learning thank you